The fifth beta of iOS 26 is finally here and it is an amazing update. Now in my experience using just for about a day now, it's actually one of my favorite updates to iOS 26. It brings even more features than the previous beta and it's actually really good when it comes to performance and overall use is just much smoother. So in today's video we're taking a look at this update and we have a lot more features to talk about here and we're going to talk about performance as well but first of all let's take a look here at the home screen on the home screen of your device running the new beta 5 of ios 26 you will notice the parallax effect that you get on your icons similar to the one that we got previously for the toggles on the control center now you will have that on your home screen as well so it actually looks really really good now another change you will find here on the home screen is the dock is actually much thicker now and it has more of that liquid glass design in the background of the dock so in my opinion when you have something like a lighter wallpaper setup on your home screen it looks much much better adaptive power is one of the great new features of ios 26 and based on a few different reports that i have seen until now i haven't been able to test it myself it looks like the new adaptive power mode will actually be turned on automatically once the device's battery will drop under 60 percent i've seen reports of this actually being a thing with this beta but we'll have to wait and see if it will happen let's see if we get a pop-up or something like that but it looks like it does actually turn on automatically once the percentage of the battery will drop under 60 percent now here's another really cool change we have now a new design right there a new pop-up for the low power mode if you have a device with a dynamic island that's what you will see at the top right there once your device will drop under 20 percent of battery so you will see that right there and then this is how it looks once you tap on that banner which actually allows it to automatically turn on the low power mode from there it turns on into this yellow icon it looks much much better and we have another change here another pop-up has changed and that's the game mode pop-up so previously it would say just game mode on and now it will basically have a description right there so it says access game overlay in the game center so that's basically the description that has been added to the game mode banner now here's another change you will see that button right there at the top of the photos app now previously it would say the date right there but now it actually also shows that like button that outline right there for the text for the current day so it's much much easier for you of course to see the date and the time when the picture was taken on the mail app is now much easier and faster for you to actually select your emails because you will have now a select button right there now previously you had to go through the three buttons right here now you will have actually just like a select button that allows to quickly start selecting your email now when you take a screenshot on ios 26 you know that you can highlight stuff and then search for it well now we have that cool animation right there so basically we have that hand that finger that has been added you can see that really cool animation right there letting you know that you can select and search anything from your screenshot now apple has done a lot of adjustments and a lot of changes to animations as well first of all when you swipe here to go back you will have like a bounce effect which looks really really awesome you will also have like the similar effect to the control center so when you bring down the control center you can see it stretches but even when you just like swipe to switch between different pages of toggles that you have on the control center you can see that little bounce animation which is really awesome and the same can be seen here when you go to search on the app library we have a really really cool animation now, on the previous video i also showed you guys the new animation that we have on the lock screen when you go to the buttons to enter your passcode that's also really awesome and it makes the lock screen look much much better adding live to that screen there will be also a few new splash screens for your apps on iOS 26 beta 5. Now on the first video I'll show you guys the splash screen for the notes app and this one right here is for the music app. It will basically let you know what's new with the music app on iOS 26. 
not just beta 5 but of course all of ios 26 we have the automix right there you can see right here lyrics translation you will have pin pin music and the replay as well you will also have a new splash screen for the journal 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 app you can learn what's new and the freeform app also has a new splash screen so like four or five new splash screens will be shown to you once you enter these apps for the first time once you have updated your device to the new ios 26 beta 5 now as i told you guys ios 26 beta 5 it's actually really good there are a ton of new features and we have a lot more to actually discover and create a new list and i will show you guys them on a new video and it will be really really awesome but also the performance of this software is really good very solid and here we also have the geekbench score to back that up so this is the score that i got today with ios 26 beta 5 so the single core score at 2975 you can see right there a slight increase over the fourth beta but this test was actually taken like a week after i had the fourth beta installed on the device which means that the device would perform at its best because the update will require a few days to settle in on the device so it will give you the best performance and the best battery life and the multi-core score right here you can see we have a slight decrease but again it's very very early we're, we're at about 7655 here with beta 4 7600 622 which is again a great score with the fifth beta just a day actually a few hours after it has been installed on the device so we'll see a much much better performance in the next coming days so what is happening with ios 26 betas will they still be on a two-week schedule or apple will change that and move to a weekly schedule well from what i have seen from the past years the charts of how apple has delivered these betas usually after beta 5 from beta 5 to beta 6 will be a week scheduled so we'll have to see if that will happen this year i would actually expect that to happen if it happens we can see the fifth the sixth beta actually on the 12th of august then follows of course a week after with beta 7 beta 8 beta 9 and then most likely the rc will be the 9th of september which is also the date that we're expecting apple to hold the new iphone event of course followed up with the release of ios 26 to the public which most likely will be the 15th of september so that's basically it for this video guys ios 26 beta 5 turns out to be an amazing update and it will get even better from here apple is doing actually a great job with adding new features and improving the liquid glass design and at this moment it's actually perfect hopefully they will just improve on battery life and of course overall performance and it will be a great update so that is it thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one